Superior man is behind bars tonight on charges of attempted second degree intentional homicide after allegedly running over a woman in an alley and leaving the scene. Rihanna Marnati joins us now from the newsroom with her top story at six. And Rihanna, this was a pretty scary incident. It was, Kevin. 33 year old Travis Howes is facing attempted second degree intentional homicide, hit and run causing injury, and operating after license revocation charges after allegedly running over a 24-year-old woman behind the third base bar in Superior on Saturday night. Police were called around 2.30 a.m. on reports of a hit and run involving injuries. When officers arrived, they were told that a car had run over the Superior woman. Officers say that Howes and the woman, who did not know each other, exchanged words in the alley after bar closed, and that Howes got upset and purposely hit her with his car and fled the scene. The woman complained of pain and injuries to her legs, and was taken by ambulance to Essentia Health in Duluth. Police located the suspect a few blocks away. When they attempted to arrest him, they say that he resisted and they had to use a taser to get him under control. Police credit the actions of witnesses for the quick arrest and positive outcome. Them calling 911 right away after this happened uh, was a big part in getting our officers on scene, starting to look for the suspect, and then actually finding him just roughly four blocks away. And uh, so a very quick arrest was made. And uh, I think all of those things working together helped bring this to a close fairly quickly. Now, Howes does have a lengthy criminal record, including many misdemeanor charges and felony burglary and possession of THC. And Raina, has Howes been charged as of yet? Well, Kevin, not yet. He is scheduled to make his first court appearance in Douglas County tomorrow, where he will be charged. In the meantime, he's being held in the Douglas County Jail. Okay, thank you very much, Raina. The area.